Hi, uh, my name is uh, Hank, Hank Yu Lee. Um, I'm based in uh, London suburb and working for Samsung Electronics <coughs> in Europe, looking after business customers and business products. And my talk is here about the uh, contributor as Fedora project and my experience uh, for the last three years. And, and I'm hoping to cut down the learning curve of any newbies and, any, and also if you uh, have newbies, and hopefully this, this talk could, could help you, uh, you know, sp speed things up. Right, uh, just about me. Uh, I'm active in uh, Matrix, in, in Docs Room, and the other SIG as well. And mainly I'm um, contributing to documentation writing uh, for user documentation called Quick Docs, which is a very uh, handy uh, how-to guide and user guide uh, when using uh, Federal Linux. And also active in uh, organizing uh, off-site uh, meetup in London as well. Um, just to complement in my activities and the sync with the other uh, organizers and contributors. So this talk is about the uh, focusing on the collaboration channel in, when it comes to documentation contribution and also uh, the sharing my idea and how we can repurpose top answers, top solutions uh, and offered by the experienced contributors on the user forum called Ask Fedora and then how we can repurpose it for documentation which is more sustainable and also easy to maintain. And a big ask at the end of session will be how you can participate if you're interested. So this talk will be uh, very crisp, uh, only three slides, no words. So I think uh, we can go ahead. All right. Um, in a user forum I mentioned, you know, the experienced guys uh, help out any questions they face by new people and also the existing users. But sometimes the uh, interaction between uh, users and contributors are not really uh, always positive in terms of uh, the expectation from users asking questions. Uh, they, are, they are, you know, taking for granted and uh, looking for fast answers, whereas um, yeah, most of us are contributors, volunteers. Uh, we don't have such, you know, uh, time to respond. So there is a sometimes very difficult situation. And I, I, I also, this is not just Fedora, this is more, more widespread symptom I oversee uh, in other upstream projects as well. So before we jump into other uh, subject that the uh, what prompted to, uh, what motivated me to speak up, uh, my experience uh, in front of you, is the first of all, uh, Justin Flory, the Federal's uh, community architect. Uh, he, uh, he gave me some inspiration, how we can speak about our new contributor experience, and also how we can um, talk about the free and open source, actually uh, Fedora, uh, ships only free software 100% by default. If you want to enable other repository, you have a choice, but the by default base system is completely free, uh, free software. And the other one is, uh, just I thought, wouldn't it be cool to meet up the real person just behind the matrix ID and they connect with the people and then help, hopefully, help this contribution journey much easier and also more you know, personal, personable. So that was my idea to come over here. <coughs> right, so I touched upon a bit not so positive experience of mine, it's just minor, not always, but the how, I thought how I can overcome this more positive uh, spin. That was, um, I looked up for obvious reason, okay, what repo comes by default when I install Fedora. That is uh, yeah, Fedora RPM repository. And then uh, the update, obviously, the only additional repository I activated that is uh, audio plugin related because it's, that's my passion. 
I'm not a musician, by the way. Uh, I'm using the audio-related plugin and the uh, digital audio workstation to clean up any audio uh, uh, irregularity. I just improved the audio quality, that's all, for my um, tutorial video. Right, um, okay. So I changed the tactics, right? Uh, rather than asking question every time, I, if I have a question, I used to ask question right away. But uh, I you start to use um, how to find the right answers, uh, also in the federal forum and also the existing documentation, and plus upstream documentation. Because uh, if I start to add more software, explore, use it for day-to-day -day basis, I need to uh, you know, get the, uh, get the how-to guides, but it's not always in the federal user forum. I need to look up uh, where to go, so which is uh, upstream documentation. Uh, it took me quite a while why that matters to me for self-help and uh, be more uh, self-taught rather than asking every time if I stumbled upon something uh, crazy, then I, I began to use the upstream documentation as well. And also talking about my experience and also uh, on top of the updating, contributing documentation, I also suggested um, using video tutorial on top of the updating uh, documentation because uh, uh, when I explain the uh, process between command line and web interface, it could be quite messy when I document it in the uh, website. So I took the plunge why not making a short video or just organize monthly writing workshop? That started from September 2023, last year. And then I do it every month. So I send out invite through a, a federal blog as well as a Mastodon. So uh, yeah, again, everything is a, a free and open source software. Right, and also what uh, helped me to focus on this uh, more of a self-help approach is the uh, test mindset, because uh, I, I took up lots of different software and also for exploration, also for u other users' uh, uh, the comfort as well. So I experience something and then if I like it and then I document it, I share it. So that is I call a test mindset. So I think that really helps to continue my journey in documentation team. Right. So moving on, uh, last topic was the how I can exp how I expand my journey, uh, how to use documentation well, and then the this is the I ran a poll a few months ago to test the idea. Okay. I know there are lots of good uh, posts and solutions posted in the uh, user forum, like the Ask Fedora, by the way. W why not just, just consolidate all the good answers into documentation, which is more maintainable, so because we use a Git-based process, and, uh, and also is quite developer-friendly as well. So yeah, I took from that survey, I got good response. Yes, that's, that's a good idea. So that is the uh, at first uh, the acid test of my idea. And also the QR code that is generated from LibreOffice <laughs> that contains all the link to the top post in Ask Fedora. Uh, so if you're interested, you can have a go and check all the, uh, uh, the issue ticket and also answers. There are only four, four tickets but this, I just consolidated all into four tickets. So wrapping up, uh, yeah, you can find me in this matrix room, docs or music audio uh, room, because uh, this previous uh, suggestion was containing the audio related issues because there are a lot of re recurring uh, questions on the, on the forum. So I want to help that to be converted to documentation form. So what do you think? That's the end of my, end of my talk, thank you.
I rattled through quite quickly. <laughs> so, any questions? So, maybe a question? Yeah. And, and then you can uh, create an issue ticket and describing uh, your suggestion, what kind of documentation will help cut down all the repeating questions in Ask Fedora. And then the reviewer will pick it up and then make a suggestion. Uh, and then we, we will uh, guide you through uh, how to create the pull request in Pagor. So, so that QR code it contains all the uh, uh, free and open source uh, mm -hmm. software I use for documentation and the also video editing, multimedia. Uh, it contains all the link if you're interested. Thank you.